All right, in this video, we're going to show you how to install and also remove drip tubing with our drip lock fittings. Um, I've got a fitting here that's drip lock. You'll see that it's got these stainless steel teeth in there, and that's what grips and grabs, holds onto this, the uh, drip pipe, the distribution pipe. And then I've got here some half inch distribution pipe. Um, so the way that you install it is simple. You just insert and you want to twist and press down and you're going to fill that lock into place. And when you pull it, it should be um, completely seated. So there I've got it in and it's not moving anymore. Now the way you remove it is you're going to need to grip this with both fingers and then you're going to have to pull down. It's going to take some pressure. Um, usually you should be able to do it with one hand and you're going to twist and pull and the pipe should come free. Now as you do this over and over, you're gonna notice the teeth will grind marks into this. Um, those shouldn't be a problem if you're, if you're installing and removing it just a couple times, those really shouldn't be a problem. But after that, you're going to notice that it wears away enough pipe that you're probably gonna to wanna to cut away that section of pipe. Uh, should it be about half an inch, three quarters of an inch worth of pipe, and then just use sort of fresh pipe that's not damaged. That way you can get the best seal and the best grip and there's no chance of the water pressure um, forcing these fittings apart by accident and you'll get a lot of excess runoff that way which you don't want. So that's how you install and remove those. If you have any questions let us know in the uh, comments below.